All right, we'll see if I can try to get some answers to uh, these questions down for you real fast if you're interested in making sure you know how to do them and do them right. Um, so these first five, we've got to be able to write uh, the name and they are gonna have Roman numerals because these are transition metals. So the, the little tricky part here is that all of these are gonna have Roman numerals after the metal. Um, the, the ending of these is not gonna be any different. This will be phosphide, sulfide, nitride, fluoride, and oxide. Uh, but because these are transition metals, we've got to have a Roman numeral. All right, so the, the way we figure out what the Roman numeral is, is we need to figure out what the oxidation number is. And to figure out the oxidation number, we kind of have to work backwards. So if I'm going to work out this number, the first one over here, the easiest way for me to kind of think about this is zinc. If I write my formula out this way, that's what I know. And I'm thinking about this a lot like a math problem. Um, Another thing I know is I know phosphorus, uh, the oxidation number, uh, if we go to the periodic table, it's going to be minus three. All right, so let's think about how this kind of works up. That's supposed to be a straight line. That's really bad. Um, let's see if I can draw a better straight line. Go fast. These numbers, if I multiply them together, end up being minus six. And this minus six charge needs to be offset by positive six charge, which means that this three needs to be multiplied by something to turn into six. Um, so, you know, so if three X has to equal six, then X is going to equal two. Hey, there's my oxidation number. So in order for this to work out, this zinc has to be plus two, which means that this has to be zinc two. And then if I could put the rest in here, it's phosphide. So that might be a Kind of an easy, convenient way to be able to figure out what numbers go in there by thinking that if you multiply the charge times the subscript and see what that adds up to, uh, that's got to balance out on the other side. And so we're kind of missing a little piece over here. <clears throat> so maybe turning it into just a simple math problem, an algebra problem can help us out. And that's kind of how I want to solve these, uh, the rest of these. Uh, so SN is 10. Which is a transition metal. Again, I don't know which transition metal it is, so I need to figure it out. Uh, if I come over here again, SN, uh, there's an invisible one. Sulfur is a two. So again, I, I've got a few things I, I know. I know there's a one here that I can't see. Uh, sulfur's oxidation number is minus two. So I've got everything I need to know, except I don't know the oxidation number here, which is what I'm trying to figure out. So I can figure out the oxidation number that makes sense, then I figure out the Roman numeral that's there. All right, so again, if I put both of those together, negative two times two is minus four. So I need this side over here to balance that out with a plus four. All right, so one times what is four, that should be pretty easy. One times four is four, which means that that's what needs to go in my Roman numeral. So this is gonna be 10 with a charge of four, and it's gonna be sulfur with a charge of negative two. Um, the sulfur is going to be sulfide. <laughs> so again, same kind of math problem on pretty much every one of these, trying to figure out what is the missing piece. Uh, so I'm going to move pretty quickly through these, as you can always stop and go back if you need to. So I've got lead. Again, I'm not putting three in here because of this three. The Roman numeral that goes in here has to do with the oxidation number of that metal which we don't know because lead can exist in several different things. So if I come back and do the same method, lead PB3 N2, and then let's go through the oxidation numbers. Nitrogen is minus three. <clears throat> so if I multiply these two things together, I get negative six. I need to balance that out over here with a positive six. So what times three? All right, little interruption there, sorry. Um, okay, so where were we? Okay, so that plus six had to balance out the minus six. I already knew that there was a three here, so that had to be lead two. Looks like my page got shifted a little bit. Let's go back up so we're in there. Uh, and it's gonna be lead two nitride. Notice these endings don't change just because the Roman numerals change. All right, fourth one, copper. 
and fluorine. So copper, don't know which copper this is. Again, copper. Fluorine, you can go, I'm gonna go ahead and put a one here for the copper, put a two here for the fluorine. Go to my periodic table, fluorine is a minus one. Again, these two numbers multiplied together will give me negative two. I need to balance that out with a plus two. So what times one is two? I'm gonna go with the two. Uh, two times one is two. So this tells me that copper is oxidation number when this one would have to be two. So this would be copper two fluoride. And then the last one, iron and oxygen can go to get, get together in several different ways. <clears throat> so we need to figure out which iron oxide this is. So iron, don't know which one, oxide always is. So I've got an iron, the one, I've got oxygen, there's one of them. If I go to my periodic table, oxygen's oxidation is minus two. So two times negative one is negative two. I need to balance that out with a plus two. And so if I go up, what times one is two? That's gonna be a two. So ox, uh, iron's oxidation, in this case, would have to be a two. And this will be iron two oxide. All right, the next five that we have, uh, several, this is kind of causes us to make sure we're paying attention to what we're doing because we only use Roman numerals if it's a transition metal. So if we go through and do these, that's our first question is like, what are we putting together? So this is a number six is a transition metal and oxygen, just like we did before. Uh, this is iron oxide again, but it's a different kind of iron oxide. So I got to figure out what goes in the parentheses with Roman numeral. Uh, iron, two, oxygen, three. Let's go back and think about our oxidation numbers. Oxygen is minus two. If I multiply those together, it gives me a total charge of minus six. I need to balance that out with a positive six. What times two is six? It's gonna be three. So three times two is gonna be offset by negative two times three. This tells me what goes in the parentheses. <clears throat> so this is iron three oxide. So next one, number seven, nice and easy. Aluminum is not a transition metal. So if we wrote the name for this, it is aluminum nitride. I don't have to do any Roman numerals because it's not transition metal. However, AG, right? Uh, <clears throat> silver is going to be a transition metal. AG, there's one of them. BR, there's two of them. If I go to the periodic table, bromine's oxidation number is negative one. Multiply those together for a total charge of minus two. I want to offset that with a plus two. So uh, what times one is two? That's going to be two. That's my oxidation number. That's also what goes in the parentheses in my Roman numerals. So this is silver two bromide. Uh, number nine, again, the first thing we look at is ask, is the metal a transition metal? Magnesium is not a transition metal. It's uh, apply earth metal, which is in group two. So we don't have to use parentheses on this one. So we would just write magnesium, write the whole thing out. And then we would have iodide at the end, and that would be it. No Roman numerals because that's not a transition metal. <clears throat> Number 10, again, is a transition metal copper. So we do need Roman numerals. Copper. All right, joys of recording at school. All right, so we got copper oxide. Need to figure out which copper this is. So let's write it out again. Again, I think if you follow this little method, Hopefully we shouldn't mess anything up. So I got copper, oxygen. So I just rewrote the formula. Go to the periodic table to find oxygen's valence, uh, excuse me, oxygen's oxidation number, which is minus two. Uh, we multiply those together. It gives me a total charge of minus six. I'm gonna balance that out with a plus six. And in order to be able to do that, what times two is six? Well, three times two is six. The three is our oxidation number, which is also what goes in the parentheses, and then we would have copper three oxide. <clears throat> I'm just gonna do one of these down at the bottom, uh, again, because these are similar to just the regular monatomic ones. It should be a little easier because iron three means that our valence is already given to us at plus three. 
nitrogen, we get a periodic table. <clears throat> balance is minus three. We can crisscross those if we wanted to, or we can just use a little bit of common sense to say that plus three and minus three are going to balance out. We don't need any numbers. If we did crisscross, we'd have a three and a three, which we would need to reduce down to a one to a one, which we wouldn't write. And we would write <clears throat> iron three nitrides formula would look exactly like this. Good luck.